So, uh, Justin, I don't know if you're familiar with a man named Donald Trump. I think I've heard of him. Yeah, he's a, a very famous man, and he is running for president. But what is big appeal to me, I guess, is his everyman appeal. Oh, yeah. He's just so, he's so relatable. Yeah, I mean, I could totally relate with him mm-hmm. if I had a Maserati. Well, and... have you, do you eat KFC sometimes? Yes, I do. I do like the Colonel. You know, uh, it was interesting to see that um, Donald Trump also enjoys KFC as his picture on Twitter shows. Yeah, I, I, I see it too. And I just, yeah. I, yeah. So looking at this picture, can you tell me anything that looks strange or out of place about it? Him, first of all. Okay. I mean, he just, he looks like as if it was, there was like a, he has that smile on his face as if there could be like a baby right there and he's like, <laughs> I'm going to eat its life source. Well, but looking at the picture, do you find anything that's suspect about the picture itself? About the message or the actual picture? First off, yeah. he's trying to eat a piece of chicken with a knife and fork, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, if it's covered in gravy and, you know, boneless and, you know, something that your mom made, I got you there. This is KFC. Yeah. KFC. Yeah, so the knife and fork is weird. And and anything about the knife and fork that's especially weird? Yeah, I noticed that there's nothing on it. Yes, the knife and fork are both clean. They're clean. Everything's clean. I mean, like, everything's clean. Like, even the the empty tray next to it, it's clean. I mean, ish. Sure. I, 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 there's just so many things that I'm just like, my mind is baffled. So, uh, who put that chicken on the plate? Oh, probably one of his servers. It had to be because yeah. his hands, you know, his, his napkins are not dirty. No, not the at all. The fork and, and the knife are not dirty. Nope. Someone plated that for him. Oh, yeah. And uh, notice how there's a secondary plate underneath that plate? Uh-huh. With two napkins put in a crisscross pattern. Yes. Which yeah. is uh, apparently a, th- Fine. a thing. Uh, so if you put the chicken in the middle of the plate... Yeah, you would see, like, some residue. Well, no, but where would you put your side dishes? Yeah. He's got mashed potatoes there and yeah. no place to put it. Yeah, and it looks like he's already eaten the mac and cheese. Well, I don't think he's... Maybe it is. No, he has, the, the plate's perfectly clean. Yeah. He hasn't eaten good. anything. No. And, uh, interestingly, so not only is the, mac, is the mashed potatoes and gravy not even open... No. Nor is there a place to put them. Nope. But even the bucket is weird because right there, you'd mm. knock it off the table. You couldn't even eat it with a knife and fork with it positioned right there. That's a prop. Yeah, it is. Now, uh, do you notice huh. he has salt and pepper? It, does he? Uh, it looks, is that the pepper shaker? Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yep. the salt There's, is. Yep. Yeah, okay. They are so. They're, okay, how would you reach that? And I'm being totally serious. How would you reach that if you got the bucket right here, mm-hmm. you got your pepper here, and you got your salt here, mm-hmm. which, you know. First of all, who the fuck adds salt to KFC? Uh, Nobody is the short answer. This isn't his meal. He's about to eat something different. Of course. But anything no- you notice about that salt and pepper shaker? Anything unusual about them? Uh, they're in glass jars. They're very, very small. Yeah. One astute online observer pointed out that uh, the salt and pepper shakers look like the kind that come with room service, specifically at Trump hotels. So they mm. so they Googled it, and yes, he stole those from his hotels. Why am I not surprised right. on that? Right, right. So those salt and pepper shakers are weird, but they're, yeah. even those are placed like a prop. Yeah, that's, I mean, how they're, I mean, and that's the thing, too, how his papers are sitting down. What about, and, the, okay, go on. What about the, the papers? Well, weird? that's the thing, too. It's like, obvi- okay, so the first thing that I notice is the business one. Mm-hmm. Notice how there's like a business one on underneath this other one that's like the Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal, mm-hmm. you know. But you'll notice the newspapers are not positioned for him to read. They're pointed at the camera. Yeah, I noticed that too. I'm like, if this is my dinner and I was going to read a paper, I'm not going to have it pointed out here so that you can see this. Mm-hmm. It's, I'm going to have it like this. It's great. So that's the business section of the Wall Street Journal. Because he's a businessman. We all right. know that. And again, it's a prop because it's been oh, yeah. slid out. He's not actually reading it. If he was reading it, the pages would be all touched. Oh, yeah. They'd be exactly. all moved around. Yeah. So that's fake uh yeah. and so let's see also why is he wearing a jacket he took his tie off because you know he's just like us uh, and unbuttoned a couple buttons too, right because you know well, hard day's work of i i would actually do that I when know. i wore suits every day as i would as soon as i got in the car i'd take off the tie and unbutton a button or two true but i wouldn't eat kfc with a three thousand dollar jacket on no but then where would he put his flag pin ah uh, true good point you know and that would be un-american 
Yeah, un American. Yeah, Where's this beverage? That's huh? a cup holder, by the way, not an ashtray. That's a gold plated cup holder. Oh, the, oh, see, I thought that was a macaroni dish that he oh, emptied out. But no, that, no, that's, 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 that's oh, a it's cup a gold holder. plated cup holder yeah. with nothing with in no it. With no cup, with no beverage. Of course not. Yeah. So why the Wall Street Journal? Now, oh, because I want to say, isn't he in a feud with... No, he's not in a feud with them. I know he's no. got a feud with them. Ha ha. Washington yeah. Post, you're thinking. Yes. But no, this is beautiful. The Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. just one day before this, a different, a different paper owned by the same guy, by News Corp, mm. Rupert Murdoch, nah. one day before this, the New York Post had leaked nakeds of Melania. I heard so, about that. If Trump didn't leak the nakeds of Melania to the New York Post for them to run on purpose, wouldn't he be in a feud with the Wall Street Journal? Because because his skin Touché. is is very thin. Now, yes, he. That's yeah. That's one thing that does bother me a lot about this guy is the thin skin. Yes, I mean like don't. Like, it's the bronzer. It makes your skin very I, thin. I guess so. Until, yeah, he's so orange. It's like, are, are you human? No, he's an overgrown Oompa Loompa. Yeah, no, that is true. Uh, so. Another thing, there's some papers underneath the pepper shaker. Yeah. That is apparently a copy of the, the Washington Post went super in-depth on this, but not as in-depth as I did. Uh. Uh, that's apparently a copy of the uh, State Department memo suggesting we take more Syrian refugees. Ah. Which, of course, he's not a fan of. Of no, no, he's not. Get uh. him out of our country. Which... Yeah, I won't right. get into it. Yeah, it's too it's just too much there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this photo, it's great because uh one thing I, I read a bunch of analysis of this, but mm -hmm. there's one thing wrong with this picture that no one caught but me. Okay, I'm trying I'm trying to guess right now. So obviously okay, let's let's go over what we can see in this picture. Uh, okay. Fork and knife and spoon, untouched, okay. totally clean. And what Plate the, is what's still the clean. spoon for? Uh, I don't mashed potatoes, maybe. I guess possibly. Uh, if they're really running, anyway, I keep get going. That. Okay, so, uh, okay, is it just me or does the chicken on the plate look different than the chicken in the buckets? You are correct. The chicken in the bucket oh. is extra crispy, and the piece on his plate is original recipe. Nobody, uh, very few people caught that. But no, I'll give you a hint. Weird. There's something about the gravy. It's not opened yet. That's the only thing I can think of. It still looks warm, but or it, is it? It's over four ounces. Okay, so a family size. You can't take over four ounces on a plane. Now, mind you, he goes through different security than you and I do. True, but the TSA rules are very clear. You, what? What are you telling me? Are you telling me that the uh, that uh, that craft services? I mean, come on. There's just so much wrong with this picture. So obviously, let, let's let's be blunt here. So obviously, mm -hmm. this plane was definitely not in the air. Well, maybe. Uh, no, no, no. It, it, okay, it, it could have absolutely have been because, oh, okay, okay. because he lives by a different set of rules than you and I. That's right. I keep which forgetting is why, that. Which is why his name is on the side of the plane. Yes. <clears throat> and so is mine. But I actually had my name legally changed to Delta. Oh yeah, that's I remember that. That's, yeah. That's why I, I screwed up on your birthday card that one time, and yeah. you got pissed off. And... Well, I didn't want to bring it up, but you know, here we are, and I'm kind of yeah. still hurt about it. Sorry. But. but the most tone deaf thing to me is, look, guys, I'm just like you. I eat KFC on a private jet. Yes, nothing with screams, my name on it. I am so like you because I have my own jet. Uh, I leaked photos of my wife. I get allegedly. to I get to have steel cutlery while yes. you guys don't even get food. Yeah, exactly. Um, I get to bring more than four ounces of liquid because I'm I'm Donald I'm, Trump. I'm better than you. Oh yeah, yeah. It's and just, I mean. You know, these photos that every time I see him of, like, uh, like uh, I remember on Cinco de Mayo, he's like, oh, nothing beats having a quesadilla on Cinco de Mayo. And a I'm taco just bowl. Like, taco bowl, yes, that was prepped for you by your, his your own staff. Well, yeah, it came from the restaurant in his tower. Yes. And it's an $18 salad bowl. And what's fun about that is even his Mexican food has a wall around it. Did <laughs> 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 um, it. Yeah. yeah, shocker there. Mm. But, and this is why... I, I mean, this guy is becoming more and more out of touch every day, especially like, yeah, I'm going to go there. The whole Purple Heart thing. The oh, reason that it, okay, the reason that it does bother me. Now, granted, I'm not a veteran. Okay, I did not have the intestinal fortitude to join our military services. I'm going to throw that out there. All right. Um, the reason I do appreciate what you guys do is because of the fact I can sit there and play my video games and not have to worry about the crap that you guys have to deal with that. And I know because mm -hmm. my friends have been through the ringer. I have, mm -hmm. and one friend I lost when he came back because 
he didn't come back. Mm. And I mean, now, am I giving the guy that gave him the Purple Heart crap? Absolutely not. That is right. his choice to do so, and I am not going to attack him on no, that. No, and that shows a, a level of courage in him yes. that I also wouldn't, I still wouldn't have. No, I mean, that, that that is something that he earned that you that most of us will never, ever, mm-hmm. ever be able to grasp, even mm-hmm. through all the trauma that I've been through as a kid, the things mm-hmm. that you've been through. I couldn't even, I couldn't even like compare it. to what Nothing you... Like it. Folks in our services do, which I appreciate. <clears throat> but the fact that he was kind of like, "Oh, I've always wanted a Purple Heart," and God, it was so easy. I'm like, "How?" Mm. And yes, I've always did... wanted one. Yeah. What are you talking about? What does that mean? You've always wanted to be injured in the line of duty. That's that doesn't even make sense. No, I, I mean, and yes, he now granted, I am giving him the credit on the fact that they always snip that part. But he always does say, you know, I still thank the gentleman who gave it to me. I am not going to, you know, right. discredit Trump for that. I, right. You know, even though I do not like the guy, but the fact that he still said that was very kind of him to do that for me. I just felt like the way that he said it. That, no, no. Well, you know, uh, Trump dated a lot of models in the 80s and had to dodge uh, venereal diseases, yeah. which, as you know, was his personal Vietnam. That is true. And we do know that in the 80s, love was a battlefield. Oh, my heartache God, it was. Heartache heartache. It was. Boy, that's funny. We stand. Uh, Anyways. Made me think of another React video I'm going to probably make you do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So I think I think we've done enough deconstructing of this particular one. Yeah, and when it comes to deconstruction, I'm I'm sorry, this guy's just deconstructing himself every day, and it's just like, wow. Well, well, he's the construction king, and it's got <sighs> construction right in the word deconstruction. So. That is true. Good point. It's, yeah. Yeah, I just, wow. 